The reason for the unique herpetofauna in the Philippines is explained by its geographical history millions of years ago when the sea levels were lower. The Philippines looked different. It was actually bigger than it is today. The low sea level meant more land which allowed species to hop from one island to another. But as the ice slowly started to melt, sea levels were rising, species were isolated, and the Philippines you see today was formed. Now we go to Palawan where you can find the largest critical habitat in the country, Cleopatra's Needle. Locally known as Puyos, this area is said to be the last frontier of the Philippines and it is here you can find anuran species that can only be found on the island. But why anurans? What are they and what makes them so special? Well, to simply put it, the term anurans is used for both frogs and toads. What's the difference, you ask? Well, frogs typically have smooth and wet skin, while toads have a more rough and bumpy look to them. Why are they important to the ecosystem? Well, first, they greatly contribute to the transfer of matter into energy, which means they play an important role in how energy and nutrients flow in an ecosystem. They also regulate populations of invertebrates, such as mosquitoes, but more importantly, they're bioindicators. Bioindicator species can tell us how healthy an ecosystem is because they're very sensitive to pollution. But we can confidently say that Cleopatra's needle has a healthy ecosystem because 8 of the 12 species we identified were endemic to the Philippines, while 7 of the endemic species can only be found on the Palawan Island group, though we had a unique encounter. Barbarula buswangensis. There are only two species of the genus in the world, and this species tends to only inhabit unpolluted water, which says a lot about the ecosystem of Cleopatra's needle. But what about microhabitat? Why do we need to know them? Well, microhabitats refer to the more distinct part of a broad habitat. An example would be one part of a river with a certain type of vegetation, or parts of a river that is mostly gravel. In the end, they allow for more niches since species utilize these in different ways, whether for foraging, breeding, or seeking shelter. In our case, we found out that the microhabitats boulder, gravel, leaf litter, and shrubs had six or more species. This indicates that these microhabitats are vital for the majority of the anurans, and this data could aid the conservation of the anurans in the area, especially since majority of the endemic species populations are decreasing. Many locals rely on Puyos, and the species found here cannot be found anywhere else in the world. That's why every effort put into protecting Cleopatra's needle is worth it.